In today's video, we're going to open the kimono. So that's a kind of fancy business expression. It means we're gonna take a behind the scenes look at how Harry the Rideshare Guy builds his brand. And we're gonna look at one specific strategy that I was involved in with him, in which we got a lot of visibility for a little campaign that we did. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you a minute of one of the TV programs that I got featured on. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And today I'm gonna to share with you something that I think is very interesting, a uh, really great strategy, which Harry incorporated uh, into his business. So I'm Jay and I make videos and I write articles for The Rideshare Guy. And that's my job. Harry's job is then to take that information and build his business. And he's been great at it. He's got 75,000 subscribers for his blog like 40,000 viewers on this YouTube channel. But let's get into what's one of the strategies that he uses to keep growing. So in December, Harry approached me and he said, how would you like to drive a taxi and then write about the difference between driving a taxi and driving for Uber and Lyft? And I said, great, let's do it. So I did that. I got all approved and I worked with Flywheel Taxi and I drove for a week and then I wrote two articles and I made two videos on the topic. And after that, Harry approached me and he said, would you be open to doing some media for it? And I was like, yeah, people can ask me questions. I'd be happy to talk to people about it. And he said he'd pay me for all of this. And I said, that's great, let's do it. So basically there's a three part strategy. Strategy one is to create a compelling event or story. Number two is to share that story with media outlets and then Strategy number three is to then go and get interviewed and talk about it. And every time I talk about it, I'm saying I'm Jay and I am a writer for the wildly popular and successful blog, The Rideshare Guy. And that way, every time I get interviewed, the brand of The Rideshare Guy keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And let's look at some of the media uh, opportunities that I took advantage of. So the first one was with a local radio station here in San Francisco called KCBS. And in that one, I met the reporter in my car and we drove around for about a half an hour. And she just asked me questions and she just had like her phone as a recorder and recorded my answers. And then she turned that into a two, two and a half minute uh, spot um, on the radio. The second one I did was for uh, an entity called RM World Travel. So on this one, uh, instead of us doing 20 or 30 minutes of recording, he just asked me questions and he told me this is gonna be four minutes, so be very concise with my answers. So it was just four minutes, he asked, I answered, and we got through all the questions like that, and that was that one. Now the third one, and the one I'm gonna share with you, is with a TV program that's in Fran it's, fr it's uh, syndicated across the country called The List. And on that one, actually in, this, in the car, I put a Go my GoPro and I drove around and I had the GoPro on me and I was talking to uh, the guy in my phone as I was driving around and he was asking me questions. So we were recording the sound, but we were also recording the video. And I drove around for about a half an hour and he would ask me questions and I would answer and every once in a while I look at the screen and look at the camera. Other times I just drive. So I'm going to share with you the first minute of that right now. With rideshare apps on our phones, getting around has never been easier, but it's been rough on cab. Yeah, after years of dominance, the taxi industry probably needed a wake up call, but now they're playing catch up. So how are they doing? Jimmy Rhodes is comparing taxis and ride shares, and that's our featured story at the top of the list. We all know about using Uber and Lyft. Well, today we're getting the inside scoop from behind the wheel. I've been driving for Uber and Lyft for three years. Jay Crater is a senior contributor to the Rideshare Guy blog and podcast. Now it's story time. Once upon a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth and talked on mobile phones that looked like they could call in an airstrike, there was no Uber or Lyft and people rode around in something called taxis. Turns out taxis are still around and Jay decided to try it for a couple of weeks. What's it like to drive a taxi? So Jay tried it and we're bringing you his insights into cabs versus rideshare. Let's start with the bottom line, the cost for riders. In general, rideshare's cheaper. Uber and Lyft, they don't have to turn a profit. So it's a very kind of an unlevel playing field. That said, right. So in summary, this is one of many strategies incorporated in internet marketing to build your brand 
to keep growing, to keep bringing on more people interested in hearing what you have to say. We created an event, we shared it with media outlets, and then I went out and did all these interviews, and instead of buying advertising, right, which is expensive, um, all of this basically was free advertising for the rideshare guy. All that had to get paid for was my time. And that was very small relative to what kind of advertising rates are. So that Harry, very sharp, very sharp. He really knows what he's doing. And uh, this is a great example. I hope you enjoyed this uh, behind the scenes opening of the kimono. Uh, it's fascinating stuff. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, by all means, go for it, sign up, check us out. If you like the video, like it. And uh, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Uh, it's great to be with you here today. Um, Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.